morning guys and girls. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, it's a Sunday morning and I'm just heading out for a ride. Lovely day. Uh, we've had some storms. Uh, so you can see the amount of water that's uh, in the river. And in fact it washed everything away. I had to rebuild uh, the access here. I haven't fully rebuilt it because we're expecting a bit more rain this week. A little bit tomorrow, Monday, and then quite a heavy storm at the end of the week. So um, I don't know if you guys have been following the, the news on Europe, but it's been pretty general. We've had um, we've had bad weather all the way through Europe, big storms, uh, the same storms as we had when we were in France racing, and uh, they were here in Spain, and they've been pretty much across the across the continent. So yeah, it's been quite rough actually. But of course we're thankful for the water, we need the water here. Um, unfortunately we've had so much water they've had to open the sluices on a lot of the dams because they were overfilling. So uh, we haven't been able to store all of the water we've had but um, at least everything's full now and that will see us, certainly see us through next year and probably into 2020 as well. So we, we've had a lot of water. So I'm off on a ride today guys, um, I've got you guys here on the on the uh, sort of stick and also I've got you guys here on the handlebars with the small camera so um, we're going to film the ride for you and let you see what's, uh, what's going on. Alright then guys, so I hope you enjoy the ride today and we'll stop off and have a, have a talk as we ride along. So not really training today, just going out for a nice long ride and enjoying the sunshine. Speak to you guys later on. Bye for now.
guys and girls. We're uh, just over half an hour into the ride now. Beautiful sunny Sunday morning. Uh, no one around, very quiet this morning. Just a few people picking their olives in the, in the olive fields. Uh, but apart from that, very, very quiet. I'll just show you around up here because um, you know this time of year it's really, really nice. So as you can see, all the uh, farmland's been turned over. So we're up on the what I call the plains, up behind where we live, going up towards the the Sierra, which is up behind us here. This is that Sierra that uh, I've taken you along a few times on the bike. We've ridden along there on that trail, that old Roman road. But as you can see, all the land's been. Uh, been tilled, turned over, ready for planting. Some of it's been planted up, some of it's uh, ready to be planted up. And then over here we're looking back towards the Sierra de las Nieves and the Black Mountains and where we live, which is over there in those low hills. So a really nice area to be riding this morning. And. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying coming along with me. Temperature's probably in the in the very high teens or low twenties, so it's nice nice temperature for riding. So guys, we're going to ride down the, the track here and turn off to the right, and it takes us through the, the valley over here. I, I like this ride. I hope it's not going to be too wet through there today. Um, if it's not too wet, you can carry a lot of momentum from the from the downhills into the uphills and you can ride through like a roller coaster, it's really nice. So I'll take you through there and uh, we'll have a little chat a bit later on. Speak to you later. Bye for now.
to the telecom masts now. Triple Gallia. You get a nice view from up there. So let's go and take a look. guys and girls well we're on the on the top of the hill now at uh, Jibal Gallia and by the all the telecom masts and everything are up on the top so this is the highest point in the area kind of between Coen and the, and the hills behind so all the telecom companies have their masts up here and the uh, the company that does our internet via wireless is has their installation up here as well so it's the best point in the area for the installation. So let me show you around. We've climbed up here on the bike and uh, I've just had a, an energy gel and a half a bar for a bit of lunch. It's 12 o'clock now and um, feeling good. Legs are feeling good. Really gave myself the rest of October off after the races at the beginning of October. Um, really tempted to go out on the bike uh, but stopped myself and I've been doing other, you know, other exercise and, and working on the farm, but um, I haven't been out on the bike. I've only been out uh, two or three times on the bike, just just gently, um, just for like a little gentle spin. So I've really been resting, and now we're start of November now. So um, 
I'm going to start to start riding and training again in November. So this is really my first ride out in November and my first training ride. And I wanted to bring you guys along and show you um, this lovely Sunday morning. So let's take a look. So guys, we're looking across uh, from up here. We can really see a lot. So the furthest white village to your left that you can see. So if you follow the line of the fence along and, and then almost go almost straight ahead. At the bottom of the Sierra de las Nieves, that is, those, those hills over there, those mountains, they're, they're just over 2,000 metres high, those mountains. And at the bottom there you've got Tolox, so that's the village of Tolox, which I've taken you to a number of times on, on different rides. And then we come round to the right, the next village is Aladena, which is Big T's favourite village, Tom. And then we come across the, the, the Sierra here. And then directly in front of us, that big village is Casara Bonella. You've been there with me as well on the bike. And uh, on that trail that runs across the top of Casara Bonella, the old Roman road, we've been across the top of there. And then if you can see on top of the hills over there directly in front of us, you may not be able to see on the GoPro are the wind turbines up on the top there electricity generating wind turbines that's Caratraca and then we keep coming across and then from here down here in the in the foreground is the quite new village of Serra Alba so, uh, sorry that's not Serra Alba, that's Zalea that's Zalea there, sorry so that's the village of Zalea we, we have been through there before, it's not, as you can see, there's not a lot there. Um, and that, uh, that little village is just off the main road going up to, to Casara Bonella. There's a couple of little venters down there. And then if you look above that village, across to the bottom, so kind of halfway up the, the hills, that's Alara. Normally that's very hard to see, we're high enough to, to look down into the into the village but normally it's blocked by the hill in front of it so you normally can't see Alara. So uh, Serra Alba in the foreground and Alara halfway up the hill there. And then we, we come around you see the Malaga Montes in the distance, the mountains of Malaga. Come around to Pizarra, that's the village of Pizarra, that's quite a new village as well. Train station there for the line into Malaga. And then coming across here in the foreground, this is Serra Alba, so that's the village of Serra Alba, also a modern village. So Zalea and Serra Alba, Serra Alba were built at pretty much at the same time. And then going straight through in the gap in the in the hills there is Malaga. Unfortunately today you can't see the sea and you can't see Malaga. But then at the base of the hill in front of us that white village there, which you can probably just about see on this camera, is Kartuma. And then we're looking across to the far hills, which are the Mihas hills, in that uh, white haze, is Alarín de la Torre and Alarín el Grande. They're in the haze over there. Now that haze is created by the olive fires. So the guys are all picking their olives at the moment uh, and then burning off the, the trimmings from the trees. So that whole haze, all the way through the valley that you can see, that white haze, is created by the smoke from the, from the olive trees. Because the olive trees have, um, have a lot of oil in the branches as well as the actual fruit themselves. They have a lot of uh, oil actually in the branches, so when you light the fire, it creates a lot of this thick white smoke and that hangs in the valley and that's what's creating this, uh, this look. You can actually see that a lot of the fires, I mean I'm not sure if the camera will pick them up, but you can see the actual fires that are generating the haze. Beautiful blue skies today. Really clear, wispy cloud, but um, really a great day to be out on the bike. The bike's going really well carried me up here beautifully today.
everything's working perfectly. So really enjoying the ride. Okay guys, well we're gonna do um, do some more riding. A ride for about another hour or so. And uh, I'll bring you guys along for the interesting part. So I hope you're enjoying the ride and um, the lovely sunny morning we've got here today. And uh, I'll speak to you guys later on. Bye for now.
bad storm damage along here, guys. guys you can see where the where the storm really damaged everything washed away the nice track that was at the side of the river here to make our way through Okay. Completely broken through the the concrete underneath the bridge there. Made a channel right through. You used to be able to just skip across a little uh, a little channel and walk across to the other side, but uh, it's completely gone now. Substantial damage here. I came along from the other side. That's where we're going now, and uh, and rode up the road the other day, and I didn't notice this. I didn't notice how bad it was. It's really serious. Let's have a walk through. see here they're bucking up all the eucalyptus that came down the, the river.
Here you can really see where it's damaged. You can see the old walkway with the stones underneath, the concrete on the top. There's some serious uh, water pressure. Okay guys, so we're back here after uh, three hours of riding. Hope you enjoyed that little outing. Saw some of the storm damage from the, from the rains we had. It's washed away quite a bit of the, the tracks at the sides of the river further along. So uh, we had a few excursions there. But uh, all in all, quite a nice ride out today. Really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed coming along guys. And I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye for now.